Hello, this is the Geordie Jedi doing my first game review. My first game I've chosen, as said by the title and also me holding this, Mass Effect 1. An incredibly good game that stands the test of time. Even by today's standards, it's a really good game. You'll go back from the Xbox One to the Xbox 360 just for the sake of playing it. It has quite it has a number of good points and the good points are massive. For example, the graphics. In s relatively smaller areas such as the Citadel and the Normandy, the graphics are really really good. Even even the Citadel such as the embassies is actually a relatively large map and the graphics are brilliant. And then when you drop down onto a planet in the Mako the graphics might not seem as good, however what you have to consider is that this map is massive. You have so much to survey, so many probes to find, missions such as biotic colonies to stop, all that kind of thing. There's quite a bit to do, considering it's, a, it's quite an old game. It doesn't happen as often. Another really good point is the customization. Not only of your character, such as how he starts as a colonist, space born, or and then and then like war hero or survivor, etc. And also the looks of the character, there's quite a few things you can change about them. But the main customization point is the weapons. There are so many guns with so many different rat modifications and then ammo upgrades. For example, you can have a scimitar shotgun with a improved barrel th level three with radioactive rounds for example now lots of little different changes There's so much stuff to find then sell on for credits if you want another and probably the best point and the reason really why you play Mass Effect games at all is the story <clears throat> even the slightest change near the start of the game will change everything well more or less everything which is, which is rare, most games just have a singular story and maybe at the end you can choose you know, a good or bad ending such as Star Wars The Force Unleashed 1 and 2 however during the game the way you play it doesn't necessarily make much difference Mass Effect 1 and all the Mass Effect games are the exceptions as well as Dragon Age of course done by Bioware as well it's got probably one of the it's probably got the best boss for the Mass Effect games, mainly because you have a face to it. You have Sar you have Saren as a boss, and the second one you have Harbinger and the Collectors, which isn't really as a face to it. And then of course the third one you have the Reapers in general. Right, bad points. Elevator scenes. Funny enough, you'd prefer loading screens, and if there was a choice between the two. I usually switch to a different channel and just watch TV for a second or two just because I don't want to listen to them in the elevator, it's boring it's because in the elevator it, fe it feels like you should listen a loading screen at least you know you don't have to watch you can just go do something else maybe for only 5 seconds but, five, but you can just really feel the tedium also the fighting if you choose a vanguard such as I am, you get biotics and you only get a shotgun and a pistol. This problem is rectified in the second one and then continues in the third one. However, you don't really want to be using just a shotgun and a pistol in the first one. However, biotics are probably the thing that's the most fun while you're fighting. So you don't want to give your biotics up, but you still want to use a decent weapon such as the M7 Lancer. However, you know, it, uh, like I say, it gets solved in the second one eventually and continues in the third. Also, as far as fighting goes, getting into cover can be a bit dodgy sometimes. Sometimes it'll work perfectly, other times it'll, it'll even force you out of cover for no apparent reason. You know, you accept these differences. And then, there's the headshots, specifically with the Krogans and the Geth armatures. Sometimes a headshot will do a massive amount of damage, won't kill them instantly, like, you know, they are wearing armour. And other times it won't cause much damage at all. Which is, which can be really annoying, especially if you want to fight for your life. You get a headshot, you think, yes, got a headshot! And it's, 
your health drops only a tiny bit and you think oh crap get back into cover and hope for your life anyways those are the only really bad points of the game the game gets a 9 out of 10 or an 8 out of 10 by today's standards 8 out of 10 but considering the game's quite a bit old you have to say an 8 out of 10 for that kind of game is pretty good by today's standards however I'm giving it a 9 out of 10 simply because I don't really judge game by age. If it's a good game, it's a good game. Doesn't matter how old it is. Anyways, this has been the Geordie Jedi. Leave a like if you want, subscribe if you wish. Cheers for listening.